they both are being shipped out today. So RJ Jr. and RJ will be living, will be leaving Exo Boas. If we gotta ship this guy, I really, I don't have a box right now that would fit his size. So I'm gonna show you how I go about making a box that would be adequate enough for him to ship and going about the proper procedures that works for me. So here is the proper box that I normally use when I'm shipping out boas. As you can see, it's nice and flush. You buy this, I get them from shipyourreptiles.com. So here's our box. Just a regular box that I probably got from Amazon. I bought the foam pallets uh, from Home Depot. They come in big sheets, so I had to cut them. Of course, this is not gonna be a perfect job because you gotta have a certain tool to cut foam. But I used a razor blade. And I just made sure that I cut it to the point where everything is insulated and doesn't move. And of course, you put packaging paper. Packaging paper I got from Walmart. And the dimensions on this box is about 17 and a half long, long seven inches wide and um, nine inches uh, tall. It's very important to put holes inside the box. Hot. So we wanna make sure that there's some oxygen flow going in. You wanna do this on all sides. We got RJ in the box. Now, it's, uh, real quick, I want to show you how to get a boa inside of a shipping bag. These are perfect bags, it has ventilation. Um, I already got RJ in, so I'm going to show you how I got RJ in the bag. In the bag. You can try to direct them anywhere. You don't put them in the tail first, you put them head first. Because once you get their head in, that's what's going to keep moving. You just get the head inside, and then you just feed them in. The tail and everything else will kind of like follow the head, so as long as the head is inside, so I put my XO Boas card, but I also put my real estate agent card just in case somebody needs that service as well. Buy that service as well. So if you have other business, it's also a good time, you know, good time to let people know because people may not know what you do. They may just think you're just handling snakes and selling snakes, but this is something else that I also do. After you done with all that, this is where you put the lid on top, close it, and then take it all up. All right guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope this helps somebody else that's watching this video. Um, of course, I may have missed some things and uh, you know, whatever the case may be, you can always ask, leave a comment if you have any other further questions in regards to shipping your boa. We're gonna go ahead and ship these guys out. Oh, one last step. You gotta weigh the animal. So let me go ahead and just do that. Right now, this is the perfect time. You know, I have a scale. So while everything is in there, you wanna make sure that you weigh the animal, weigh them out, make sure you know the dimensions of your box. Cause once you go into uh, ship your reptiles, which is what I use to ship my um, animals, you'll be able to have the dimensions, you'll have the weights and you'll have everything. So that way you can get a proper calculation of how much it's gonna cost to ship the animal. Well, I appreciate you guys watching Exo Boas. Y'all take care. Look forward to hearing from you guys. Like and subscribe. Share the channel. And I uh, appreciate all those that's been with me. My, uh, my fellow patrons and all those that are new. What's going on? I'm Jeff Ali and I'm out.